I'm Juliana Barrera-Gomez from OCLC Research. I'm here to give a quick overview of one of our latest reports, Walk This Way, Detailed Steps for Transferring Born Digital Content for Media You Can Read In-House. The OCLC Research Library Partnership has created a special activity called Demystifying Born Digital with the goal of simplifying the management of Born Digital Special Collections. Uh, we have a group of expert advisors who have been helping us to distill state-of-the-art wisdom into straightforward steps to help us meet this goal. Jackie Dooley and Ricky Irway have been really active in this. Ricky's written a series of short reports addressing this goal, um, such as offering some technical baby steps for getting started with ingesting born digital media that you can read in-house. Um, she's also spearheaded a call for collaborative action to set up services for ingesting rare or obsolete media that you can't read in-house. Um, walk This Way is a companion to Ricky's report, You've Got to Walk Before You Can Run. Um, she offered simple steps there to get started with media that you can read in-house, so things like hard drives, flash drives, floppy disks, and CDs. Um, readers enjoyed her report simplicity, but it was clear to us that they really wanted specifics as they carried out these steps, uh, especially recommendations on tools and software. So we took a one-page table of 11 simple steps and we expanded it to a 35-page report packed with detail as well as experience-based recommendations from our expert group of advisors. The report covers the steps that are involved in getting born digital material off of removable media and into secure storage um, with enough metadata and documentation to describe the files and what was done in your project. Um, our intent was to keep the report clear and basic enough that readers with a variety of skill sets, backgrounds, and resources can make use of it. We offer largely fluid steps to follow. We recommend some useful tools. We point to some really great further resources to help readers continue learning. If you read the report, uh, we hope that it'll offer you some guidance and stimulate some discussion in the archives community that'll continue to help others.